well. When the train arrived at Collier's Wood, the doors opened. Nellie got up to leave, and for some strange reason, she wouldn't fit through the doors. She pushed and she squeezed, but there was no way Nellie was going to get off that train. Come on, Nellie. I've got a timetable to keep. <laughs> Shan't be a moment. I say, hurry up there, will you? Shan't be long. Excuse me, but will somebody please move that elephant? I'm supposed to be at the hairdresser. And nearly there. But it was no good. She even tried getting off backwards. But that just made matters worse. Tell you what, let's all give her a push. So they did. And she stuck. I know. Let's all give her a pull and she jammed solid. They gathered round and talked it over. It seems to me that she's absolutely completely stuck. We've talked it over, Nelly, and we've come to a decision. Yes? We've all decided you're stuck. Stuck? Yep. Oh, dear. Poor Nelly. She felt so silly. All night, Nelly sat there wondering what would happen to her. She tried and tried to set herself free, but by the time morning came, she still couldn't budge. <laughs> the sun peeked over the castle walls, and the train's guard arrived for work. You still here, Nelly? <laughs> Looks like we're stuck with you forever. Nelly was not in the mood for jokes. I'm not in the mood for jokes. But just when she thought that all was lost, she heard it. That special sound. It came, as always, floating on the breeze and drifting in the wind. The head of the herd was calling from far, far away. And it filled her with new strength. Nelly took a deep breath, wriggled her hips and burst free of the train. 